We start this match there. at 285. Kittanis Eric Bach giving up over 100 pounds, but he pins Travis Mullins. 6-0 Kittanis. 103 pound weight class. Kittanis freshman Avelino Asento gets the pin right here. Oh. And Kittany goes up 12 to nothing over Walk Hill Valley. Right On to 112. Kittany's Derek Conrad yeah. scores a reversal on Colin Shane for a 7 2 win to make it 15 0 Kittany. 119. Kittany's Garrett Scavani keeps it going for the He's Cougars the as he records the fall on Jason Birdie to make it 18 0 Kittany. Another freshman for Kittany at 125. Clark Moynihan with the back points on his way to a 9 1 win over Clark Endicat. 21 0 Kittany. 130, Kittanese Chris Burge gets deep on the leg, but Jacob DePini of Walk Hill Valley switched to get the takedown. 2 0 for DePini. Chris Burge comes back with the takedown to take a 3 2 lead at the end of two periods. Burge takes control in the final period with the back points. He wins 9 2 to make it 28 0, Kittanese over Walk Hill Valley. 135, forfeit win for Cody Silvestri of Walk Hill Valley. 31 6 to score now. 140, Walk Hill Valley's Kevin Cook in the second period gets a takedown to take a 4-2 lead. But Kittanese, Sean Lombardi comes back with the uh, drag by move and he goes oh, up 6-5. Nice. to five. He goes on to win the match by a score of 7-5. to five. Kevin Cook, he's a good wrestler. He's very strong and uh, it was a good match. Uh, the team needed it so uh, I was lucky to come through. 145, Troy Hernandez with the reversal. He puts Casey Murphy on his back to get the pin. 37 to six, wow. Kittatinny. I just want to go out there and get a couple takedowns to start the match and uh, you know work for bonus points. Uh, you know we need the pin for this uh, to seal the win, but I didn't want to rush it. Wanted just to uh, you know get a couple takedowns, get a lead, and then try and work for the fall. 152, uh -oh. Wall Kill Valley's Evan Bowlby on his way to a 10 to three win over Joe Hoag. He picks up the back points to make it 37 and nine, Kittatinny. On to 160, Walk Hill Valley's Christian Kaza gets the third period back points. He beat Pete Clymer 12 to four. It's now 37 to 13, Kittatinny. 171, Ryan Callahan keeps the Walk Hill Valley momentum going. He pins Matt Simpson. It's now 37 to 19 in favor of the Cougars. All right, folks, on to 189. Walk Hill Valley's Max Lehman gets the fall. He works the cradle. Turns John Sanford on his back and gets the fall right there. And the match concludes at 2.15. John Walsh of Walk Hill Valley sends him out in style with the pin. But Kittatinny wins the final score, 37 to 31. There's a lot of hype to this one. And it was real good to come in and get that big lead coming at the bat. You know, the freshmen and the uh, underclassmen, they wrestled real tough for us. Got us a good lead coming into the heavy um, bouts. And, you know, from there we were able to seal it. To have a, a match like this so early in the season, I mean, it, it was, you know, we opened up Saturday and Tuesday. You're wrestling a team that has worked so hard to, you know, upset us and knock us out of the, the limelight. They have a great lineup. You know, the Murphys and the Silvestris and, you know, the Lehmans and, you know, uh, Callahan. So they, they, we knew, we knew that it was going to be a barn burner. And I know on TV they're going to see like a 30, 37 to 6 lead, but we knew that the big guns were still coming. But uh, I'm very proud of the kids, very proud of the kids. My lightweights, my two freshmen came up big. My Sean Lombardi came up big against a good kid named Cook. So uh, uh, very happy, very happy. Kittany got off to a great start in this match as Eric Bach bumped up the heavyweight, giving up 100 pounds, and he came up with a pin. My big fear was having his mom and dad run out of the stands after me, but uh, it was a great, great job. He was the only one probably athletic enough that could handle that chore for me and for the team. And uh, he never batted an eye, and he took the challenge, and what a great way to start. The Cougars will be looking to the senior leadership of Troy Hernandez this season. It's kind of cool that, you know, the guys look for me to get the big wins, and, I, you know, I want to support my team as much as I can. Um, you know, I don't want to let them down, so I want to go out, go out there. And, you know, right now it's it's about the team right now in the season. You know, individual stuff, you know, hasn't come upon us. So I want to wrestle for the team right now and do whatever I have to do to get this team a state championship. Now that he's made a name for himself, Hernandez knows he will have to step it up this year. I have to be more focused. I can't slack now the kids, you know, know who I am. You know, they, they know how I wrestle now. So if I start to slack, kids are going to come after me. Um, you know, I could end up with a loss. I got to now push the envelope. I can't let, I got to wrestle my type of match and can't let kids uh, set the tone. With an extremely tough schedule, Kittatinny will be truly tested this season. We have a Kittatinny tournament on the 29th. I go down to Long Branch, who's loaded, and Hunter and Central, who just kind of 
shocked us on past Saturday. So Hunter Central and Long Branch January 3rd. Then we have a league match with Pope John. Uh, you know, traditionally they've been down. And right after Pope John is the high point match. It may, might be Friday the 7th or 8th or 9th or whatever that Friday is. Uh, you know, great match. So we, we have a lot to to look for as long as we're improving i saw things today as a team that i i, I appreciate the and uh the improvement some kids improved since saturday so i was very happy